Hey guys, it's that time again. Time for coffee, jewelry, and jokes. And here comes my cat. She is something. Anyway, this is part two of Shop Goodwill Lot number 43. And in a minute, you will see what I previously recorded for part two. But the jewelry that you're looking at right now is going to be later in the video. Okay, well, you can't see all of it. You can see some of it. So just to let you know, this is going to be pretty long. So I will have to record a part three after this. All right, so I will get started. And again, you'll see what I recorded previously in just a second. And then I'll get back to the jewelry that's here. All right, here we go. All right, here is a maroon colored bracelet. Well, it's more of a, um, like a light cranberry. I have a couple, actually I have three, I have three. These are cute. And these are heavy. I wonder if they're glass. Okay, they're glass. Oh, that's neat. These are glass. Those are pretty. All right, I'll see if I have more of these. I could do them as a set. I like them. All right, this one's woodsy or boho. This is cute. So this one has a gold tone link chain and some seed beads and then these beads. I'm not sure what they are. The chain is interesting. Look at that um, pattern. So these are textured. All right, this one's not marked. It's cute though. I mean, it's not silver or anything. It might have had a tag on it because it has a little jump ring there and there may have been a tag attached. So I'll look that one up. It's earthy. And here's another glass bracelet. That's really cute though, isn't it? It's pretty. And then I have this seed bead bracelet with these blue stones. I'll just put this in the box. These feel like glass, but it's pretty. And I have another one of these. I have these two colors. Wow, I have a lot of these. So all of these are glass. Those are really nice. I don't know how I'm going to sell these yet. If I'm selling them by the color or all together, I'll figure it out. All right, well, this is pretty. Look at this one, guys. <gasps> Look at that bead. That is so nice. Look at the little crowns. And these look like, uh, hold on, let me zoom in. I can't tell if these are soda light. I'm looking for gold flecks. Cause they could possibly be lapis. And they're cold. Isn't that pretty? All 
All right, the bead inside is going up to tourmaline. And the other beads are going almost up to, well, they're going in the tanzanite range. Not that that means anything. I have to scan these on my gem app. That is pretty. I like that one, guys. And these are dark blue, but they have a little bit of a purple tint. You know what? I'll tell you how big the beads are. One second. Alright, so these beads are about 8.8 .8 millimeters. That's a really nice one. All right, I have to research that. There's a little bead with Jesus. That's not how he really looked, but I'm putting this in the box. All right, and I have this one. This is adorable. Look at that little bracelet. That is so cute. These feel cold. The needle's moving, but no, yeah, they're acrylic. But that is so pretty. Isn't that cute? I love that one. Aww. That was too cute. All right, then I have this shell bracelet. These are cool. That one's nice. I like that. You know, some shell looks really nice. I really like that one. All right, I'll research that. pretty. Okay, here is a string of beads. And they're just glass. I'll put this in the box. If somebody wants these little beads. Ooh, this is a cool earring. Look at this earring. This one looks like enamel. I have never seen an earring like that, guys. That is neat. I hope I have the other one. That is really cool. Here's another one of those wavy bracelets, but it's not in good shape. So that's going in the box. All right, then I have this one. These look like seeds. So what kind of seeds are they? I don't know. They are like a reddish brown color. I do not know what they are, so I will look that up. All right, here are some more penguins. I think they're penguins anyway. Okay, then I have this black necklace, but the chain is worn and it's missing um, one of these stones. This is going in the box. And this one is really dark. What is this? Leslie Danzis? I've never heard of her. 
Okay, so this is a brass tone. I don't know if this is brass though, guys. I'll have to clean it, see what happens. It's kind of interesting though. It has some stones. It's missing a stone, but it's probably in the box. It has all of its small stones though. And then these are blue. It's different. There's the back. So I will see if I have the stone. And I'll look this up and see if I can clean it. Alright, next I have this flower earring. Nothing fancy, but it's cute with a little blue stone. It's probably acrylic. Yeah. And I had a piece of Easter straw. <laughs> and I have this one. This is pretty. So this one is glass. Handmade. And it has this little ball clasp. That piece of string just needs to be cut. That one's cute. Um, I'll tell you how long this is. I don't know if anybody likes these, but... This one is about seven inches. I don't know, I'll figure out a price for that. Okay, this one says guess. Oh, that's cool. Guess earring. They won't be much if I find the other one. This is no good. This is cute. Oh, I like that little scene, look. It kind of reminds me of um, Van Gogh. I don't know what that is. Maybe a little building and a tree. That's cute. And that one's glass, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's glass. Alright, I have another one of these bracelets. The stretch is not great. You know what? I might keep this one, guys. I'm getting some thread to make bracelets or fix bracelets, so I need some beads. This one's cute. It's just plastic. I like these flowers. The stretch is not good, so I'll put that in the box. And then I have this earring. This is pretty. And these are probably glass. Now these are going to glass. This one has a gold tone hook. That's a pretty earring though. Hopefully I have the other one. Alright, and I have these. Looks like somebody made these. But I love those little beads. Alright, I'm putting these in the box. It's strange, they made them with safety pins. And here's another little glass bracelet. There's another one. These are cute. Nice colors. But very thin. And I have another one. 
Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, look, guys. I got a mushroom earring. I recently got a mushroom necklace. And it was glass. This is not glass. But it's really cute. And, oof. I don't, I don't like that. Hold on. I just dropped it. I don't think this is silver, but I will look at it later. All right, guys. So now you're watching part two of part two. <laughs> so I had to show you the other jewelry first that I recorded originally. And now I have a whole big pile here still. All right. So I'll show you this first. This is really cute. This necklace is a David Aubrey. I don't know if you guys have heard of that designer. Here it is, there's the tag. And this is a really pretty color. It's a soft gold tone. It looks like it's plated to me. But anyway, there is the lobster claw clasp and it has a leaf attached to it and a little bead. And then this pendant which I think is adorable. So first it has the letter S and then this leaf and it has this stone. I'm not sure what this stone is. I think it's smoky quartz because it goes up to the quartz range and then this uh, rose quartz and this other stone is only going to glass. But I think this is a really pretty necklace. Don't you guys think that's cute? I think that's adorable. So it looks like it's just plated, but I will measure it. All right, so that's about 16 inches and it has this extender too. It looks like it's close to an inch maybe three quarters of an inch. I don't know, I'll measure it real quick. Yeah, it's three quarters of an inch. I oh, know, Never mind. It's half an inch. Half an inch. But this is really pretty, in my opinion. Um, I can do this one for 15. All right, next I have this, this is gorgeous. It is a rose gold, but it is sterling. So it's rose gold um, plating. And it has these clear stones. I'm not sure what the stones are, but this is considered a friendship necklace or I don't know, two people that are close one another I guess because of the intertwined loops it's really cute uh, let me test the stones they're really tiny so it's kind of hard all right they're going mm, just about glass so I don't know maybe they're CZs I do not know but this is sterling. It says it right there. Can you see that? Yeah. Anyway, this one's pretty. And I will measure it. Alright, that's about 16 inches. And it has... Um two spaces where you can connect it. So you can either connect it at 16 inches or just over 17. See, it has a little spot there. Oh wait, and here, so three, sorry, three. I just think that's pretty. So that's sterling. Um, I can do this one for 20. 
I have a lot of chains, guys. A lot. So this is going to take me a long time, just to let you know. Okay, this one's really cute. So this one has some open work beads. They have a flower design. And then it has some pearls. I don't know if they're real pearls or faux pearls. Hold on. I should have checked that. And let me check the beads. I think they're glass. Yeah, the beads are glass. So there's some red glass and clear glass. I think this one is very nice. There is the spring ring. Isn't that pretty? Now, I did look online to see if I could find a necklace like this, and I can't. But, you know what? I'm going to look at these little beads that look like pearls. They really look like pearls. Hold on, guys. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. I just can't tell. Hold on, guys. Let me hold this up to the camera. Don't they look like pearls? Oh, wait. I'll be able to tell. Hmm. They're probably glass. But this is a pretty one. Oh, sorry. I didn't know it was out of focus. Isn't that nice? I will measure it. Okay, that's about 24 inches. I think that is so pretty. And it has some weight to it, so it doesn't feel cheap at all. And it is a vintage necklace. I just think that's gorgeous. All right, next I have this one. This is cute. So this one has a thin gold tone chain and it's a really soft gold tone and this cute pendant that looks kind of like a sun. There's the back. There's a little mark on the back. I might be able to clean that off. But here's the front. The front looks good. Here's the chain. And there's a little bead on the end of the chain. I think that is cute. And it looks like an antiqued gold. It's really soft. Um, I'm thinking. Hold on. Let me just measure it first. Bear with me, guys. It's probably 16 inches. Yeah, it's 16 inches. And it has a three inch extender. I just think that's cute. Again, that's the back. Here's the front. It kind of looks like brass, but I don't know if it is. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to say 10 on that. And look, the back looks better. I cleaned it off. Sorry. I was just seeing if that was something on there. I think that's so cute. So 10 on that one. All right guys, so next I have this one. I had to pause my video for a minute. Okay, so this is cute. It looks like a sun 
and this is a soft gold tone that's a nice pendant and it has this gold tone chain with little beads this one is not marked but I think it's pretty it is 16 inches and it has a 3 inch extender it might be a little longer than 3 inches but hold on let me just double check I know it's 3 inches really cute. Alright, next I have these. So I have this little unicorn and a rainbow and a little rainbow and then a unicorn. So these are kids bracelets. They're really cute. And I can do those for a dollar a piece. So I'll just put those in the box and they are acrylic. Alright, and I have this. This is a little bit strange. Okay, so this necklace is really lightweight. Here's the clasp. And when I lay it out, the flower is on the side. It's kind of cute. It's just super lightweight. So it has two chains. It has the mesh chain and then this link chain. And it has these flowers with rhinestones. Oh man, I'm missing a rhinestone. But you know what? I have a ton of them. So I should be able to replace that if anybody's interested. Like I said, it's really light and it's not marked or anything. Here's the back. All right, so if somebody likes this one, um, oh wait, wait, wait. Why is it? Hold on, guys. And I really need to wake up. So I'm going to have to take a sip of my coffee in a second. Um, I'll say five on that. But I will replace this then. All right, next I have this one. So this is not sterling, but here's the strange thing. Okay, this stone right here registers on my gem tester and it registers in the garnet range. But I don't know if it is a garnet or if it's a CZ or something. It's really pretty. And here is the clasp. It's a lobster claw, but it's a nice one, I think. And like I said, it's not sterling, but it is pretty. And it has a real stone or CZ, again, not sure. Or maybe it's a crystal. Anyway, I'll measure it. All right, this one is about 18 inches. I just think that's pretty. All right, hold on, I need a sip of my coffee. Hold on, guys. I really need espresso, that's what I need. All right, next I have this. And this one is a vintage pendant, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I don't know if this was a gold tone around the edge at one time, because I see like a slight gold tone in spots, but it's mostly silver. I mean, it's really, really faint and you're seeing a glare in some spots, so that's really not gold. 
So maybe it was silver, maybe it's just my lighting. But anyway, I was trying to figure out what stone this is, so I looked it up. And this is the problem I have, guys, often. Okay, so here are some names I got for this stone. Okay, here, they, here we go. Plume agate, Hungarian agate, tree agate, but a rare kind of tree agate, bloody basin agate, and plum root agate. And there are many more names. So if you take a screenshot of this and look it up online, you will get so many different descriptions. And that is the problem. Now there's one little spot here. I don't know what's going on there, but it's a really cool stone. And it's on this chain. This is a silver tone chain with a spring ring. I think that's very pretty. And it looks like it's probably about 30 inches, but we'll say. I oh know, less than that is 24 inches. So 24 inch chain, the chain's cute. The links have a little, um, little bit of a pattern. See, they have little indentations. I just think that's pretty. So, if someone likes this one, um, I'll just say 15 on it. Some of these pendants are really expensive, but I don't know what's going on with that little spot. And here's the side, here's the side. All right, so 15 on that. So you get the pendant and the chain, and you could always put this on a sterling chain as well. That's really cool. It almost looks like you're in the woods in the fall. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like that one. All right, next I have this. And I meant to show this in the last video, but I forgot. So this one is an ankle bracelet. I'll tell you how long it is. I don't know if this is copper. It looks like copper, but it could just be a copper coating or plating. Okay, it's nine inches and it has uh, a two and a quarter inch extender. So here it is. It's still pretty bright. There are only a few spots that look a little darker. I think it's cute. And if someone likes that, I could do that for five. So five for that. And next I have this, this is really cute. I'm thinking this is pewter but it is a little bird and bird nest and tree branch necklace. I like this chain too. It looks like a paperclip chain. It's really thin. It's interesting to me. And then it has this big loop at the top. So it has a toggle but it has that big loop there. I mean, obviously you have that with a toggle, but I just think it's cool. Cause look at the chain. So the chain is dainty. Oh, here comes my cat. And right, here's the back. Isn't that pretty? I think that is so cool. And I don't see it signed anywhere unless I'm missing it. I'll lay it out so you can see it better. All right, there it is. I just think that's really pretty. I'm just looking at it. Look at the little nest. I 
I am surprised it's not signed anywhere. But anyway, I'll measure this one. Alright, that's about... Um, hold on. 21 inches. I don't think it's silver, but let me check it. Well, it's not magnetic. Okay, the little ring at the top is. But the chain's not. I just think that's really cool. And I'm pretty sure this is a vintage necklace. So, I will say 12 on this one. Man, my cat is really needy tonight. All right, what's this one? All right, so this one is Ann Taylor Factory. So this one has two gold tone chains and it has this stone, but I don't know if it's glass. So it has this stone, that's pretty, and this circle pendant. It's just a plain gold tone circle pendant. Let me check the stone. Okay, the stone is acrylic. It's really cute though. It looks like it has gold flecks in it. Um, I'll just say five for that one. I hope you guys are having a good night or day, by the way. It took me forever to record, guys. Some things came up, so I couldn't get to it. Okay, this one's really cute. So this is a little shell turtle pendant. And I meant to show this in the last video, but I don't think I did. So if anybody likes it, I can do it for four. It looks like a little grandma, doesn't it? Look at the purple hat. <laughs> it's not signed anywhere, but I think it's really cute. So if anybody wants a little turtle, little thorough figurine. You can have it for four dollars. All right next I have these and I've had these for a while and I meant to show them to you last video but I don't think I did. I'm going to have to go back and look. I really don't think I did though. Anyway, these are chandelier earrings with faux pearls and these really dark blue stones. They look black through my phone, but they're not. Here's the back. These are long. They are about three inches. I think they're neat. So if anyone likes those, I could do those for seven. The back looks good. There's no wear to them at all. And they're not paparazzi guys. All right, so seven on these. All right guys, I have to pause my video again. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. And what should I show you next? All right, I have this one. This is a silver tone chain, and I'm thinking it's an ankle bracelet. But it's been sitting here for a little while, guys, and I hate to say it, but I don't know if I showed it to you. <laughs> I know I've been saying that a lot lately, 
This is 10 inches. That's really big. So I don't know who this would fit, <laughs> but to me that's huge. And all I can think is it is an ankle bracelet for somebody. So I'll just say uh, $3 on that. All right, next I have this one. And guys, I think this might be Brighton and I don't know. So if anybody knows by looking at it, let me know. Doesn't that look like it? And I don't know if this is the original chain. It's a long one, but I'll measure it. Hold on. All right, so that's about 32 inches. And then it has an extender here. That's like three inches maybe. A little over three inches. About three and a half. So I just don't know guys. I'll have to look it up. And the clasp on the chain um, looks a little bit beat up, so I will replace that if anybody wants it, but I have to figure out if this is Brighton or not, so I will let you know about that one. All right, next I have this. This is pretty. So this is a glass pendant with a flower. That's a cool blue flower, and it has some gold glitter inside and it looks like paint as well so here's the back I like that one it's about two inches um, I could do that for five all right then I have this little necklace with a cross it's just a small silver tone cross. Here's the back. This is not silver and it's on this little ball bead chain that says USA. I don't think these are glass or anything. Oh wait, hold on, they are moving. On the gem tester, I mean, like the needle's moving, but Oh no, never mind. It hit the metal. Okay, so that's not much. It's kind of cute. I'll just say two on that. Alright, then we have another one of these. So this is a glass pendant with a swirl design that's red and blue. So it's red and blue and clear, and this one is on a cord. That one's pretty. And it's about 20 inches. Um, I can do that one for five also, even though it has a cord with it. All right, guys, next I have this one. So apparently this is a retired Leo Sophia bracelet. The only problem is it's missing um, let's see, two strands, two or three. It either had eight or nine, so they're gone. But these beads are really pretty and they are glass. The ends don't look so great. So, there you have it. That's sad because this would be really nice if it was complete. Now, if you didn't know that it was missing any strands, then you wouldn't even think about it. 
Because look, I wouldn't know if I was wearing that or saw someone wearing that, that it was missing anything. But it is. So I hate to do it. I really hate to do it. But I'm putting it in the box. Alright, next I have this one. So this is a silver tone necklace. And it has these little um, acrylic stones. I think they're acrylic. Hold on. Maybe they're glass. They feel kind of cold. No, they're acrylic. They're acrylic. But they're open on the back, so that's neat. Alright, so this is a cute one. It's nothing amazing. It's a little bit scratched. That might come out though. I don't know if it's scratched or just has something on it. I don't know. I will clean that because it, it is cute. If it comes out, um, then I will say three on it because it is pretty. If it doesn't come out, then I'll put it in the box. Because, like I said, I don't know if that um, has something on it or if it's scratched. Hold on, let me look at it. Hold on, guys. Yeah, I don't think that's scratched. I think there's something on there. So... I'm just going to say three on it because I should be able to get that out. And if I can't, I will let you know. So this one is about 18 inches. Okay? I'll just clean it. I'm telling you, it's going to look better. But again, if it doesn't, I'll let you know. Alright, then I have these. This is a single bracelet, but it's two connected. You could probably take that little band off. It looks like someone tied a little band around both to make it one. That's what I'm thinking. These are pretty though. These are AB crystal beads and they are nice. <laughs> oh, they're faceted. <laughs> Very cute. And these have some weight to them. They're not super light. Those are really pretty, I think. Um... I'm going to say five for that. All right, next I have this. This is a pretty pendant. Um, it's green. And it's glass. It's cute. It's on this string. It feels kind of like um, silk in a way? It might be. It's not sterling or anything, but that's cute. I like that. Um, I'll say five on that. And I have this. This is cute. So this one has some glass beads. And this one is not cold. So this one is acrylic. Or resin. Um, but these are glass. And the orange ones are glass. 
these small green ones are not. That one's a cute bracelet. Hold on. Okay. I had to adjust it. That one is about seven inches. And it has a little bit of an extender. Just about a half inch. That one's pretty. Um, it's not silver, I don't think, no. That's really cute. I'll say five on that. And then I have this one. This is Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. This one does not really stretch. It's a child's bracelet. Has little hearts. Um, this bead here that says you. That one's cute. Some of this um, Disney stuff is collectible. I mean, it's not anything major, obviously. Um, I'll say three on that. Just because. Alright, this one. How do I, I remember looking at this. Hold on, let me focus it. Oh, oh. Guys, this is frustrating. It happens all the time to me. Okay. Stainless steel. Alright, so this is a rose gold color. Stainless steel chain. Hold on, I want to make sure it's not messed up. I have to push that down. Okay, it's fine. So this is a stainless steel chain. It's a little bit twisted. It's a pretty color. It looks kind of like copper and kind of like rose gold. And it's 20 inches, oh wait, wait. It's about 18 inches. Actually, you know what, it might be 20. Hold on guys, I have to measure, right? It's probably 20. That's 20, that's 20. So I am going to look this up I don't know what to charge for stainless steel chain. It is pretty. And if you had the right pendant, you could really make that look nice. The color is great. No tone loss. So I'll let you know. All right, next I have this one. This is really nice. So this one is Anne Klein and it is long. And it has these beads. I forget what you call these. There's a name for those. And I knew it earlier and I forgot. Wait, let me. Hold on. I'll measure it this way. Okay, um. That's about 72 inches. Yeah, four times one. Yeah. I had to think about it, guys. So this is a really long one. And it has an antique gold tone to it. This is really pretty. I wish I knew what these were. There is a name for that. If I think of it, I will put a little note up. 
Um, I've seen another necklace kind of like this and it was pretty expensive, guys. For Anne Klein, I mean. I'm going to say 30 on that one. If I look it up and I think it should be less, then I will put a note up, but this is gorgeous. All right. Wait, I should have laid it out so you could see it. Here, I'll lay it out like that. <laughs> it doesn't really help. It looks better up close. You can really see the color. Okay. All right, then I have this. This is a cute little necklace with the green stone and some clear um, rhinestones. And these are glass. There's the back. It's on this silver tone chain. Nothing fancy, but it is cute. Um, I'll just say three on that. And I have this. This is a flashlight. I don't know if anybody wants a flashlight. It says glam. And it has this hook here to put on anything really, a bag or keychain. But it's really heavy. I don't know if you'd want to put it on a keychain. But that's all it is, just a flashlight. It's not a weapon or anything. <laughs> when I first saw it, I thought, oh gosh, is there like mace in there or something? But no, just a flashlight. See? So, oh, it almost looks like a black light. I wonder if that's a black light. I don't know. All right, so I'll look that up. I'm not sure about that, guys. Okay, then I have this one. This is cool. So this is an old one. And it has a hammered look to it. It's a butterfly. But I need to clean this because it looks kind of rough. The worst part is here. So you know what I need to do guys? I need to get some of that plating, that gold plating and the silver plating so I can fix up jewelry like this because that's a cool pendant and it's on a nice chain. So I think I'll hold on to this for a little bit. I've got to order some of that and see if it works. And if anybody knows of a good brand, let me know for silver or gold. And I hope you guys can hear me. I'm being quiet because it's late and I don't want to wake anybody up. All right. And then I have this. This is really cool. So this one has some AB stones and these are registering as glass. And then it has a thin strand up top and a spring ring and this chain. But I don't know when this was made. I can't find one that looks just like it. So I do not know. Some of these can be valuable. A lot of them are just like mediocre, but this is really pretty. And these are very bright. And I don't see any wear to the AB. Hold on, I'm just double checking the stones. So I'm assuming these are rhinestones. Isn't that pretty? I'll measure it real quick. So that's about 16 inches. 
then the extender is two. Um, I'm going to say 12 on that one. Now, if I look it up and I find out it's worth more, I may adjust the price, guys, but it's probably, I don't know, it's probably not, but it is really nice. And some of these are just okay, but I like that one. And if it's less, then I'll have to adjust the price, like if I find that exact one. Okay, this is a gold tone chain. There's nothing on it. This is small. Uh, and it has a darkened area. So I'm going to clean that and see if it's just something that's on it or if it's wear, then it's no good really. So I'll let you know. Then I have this little charm with a butterfly. And it's on both sides. That's cute. I'll just put this in the box. Alright, then I have this necklace. This is a fossil necklace. And it's a copper color. It's really pretty. Here's the chain. And it has this pendant. And that one's nice. And it's about 18 inches. Fossil sells really well for me, guys. Um, I'll say 12 on that one. Alright, then I have this silver tone chain. It's nothing great. It has this little filigree ball. It's cute, but there's not much to that. I'll put that in the box if somebody wants it for a dollar. All right, then I have this little unicorn bracelet. And I may have shown this in my last video, but I think I had it when I first recorded and then edited that part out at the end, guys. <laughs> I can't remember. That one's pretty. Um, that might be an ankle bracelet. Oh no. Well, it's about seven and a half inches. So it's kind of big, it has um, a one and a half inch extender. I really like the unicorn. I'll say, I guess three on that. And I have this, this is kind of cool. This is an AB crystal ring. It's adjustable. I don't see anything in there. I'll measure it real quick. I just have to find my ring sizer. Where is it? Where is that? Oh. Alright, so this one is about six and three quarters. That's a neat ring. Oh, wait. I realize it's adjustable, but okay, it's about, if it's closed, pretty much, 
it's about, I would say five and three quarters, or no, like a six, around a six, but you can make it bigger. Okay, that's really neat. And that goes to glass. I'm not sure about a price on that, guys. I have to look this up. It's not marked or anything, so I don't think it's um, silver or anything, but it is neat. Okay, and then I have this one. This is a glass ring. This is about the size, um, I would say nine and three quarters, or maybe nine and a half, nine and a half to nine and three quarters. If I don't push it down, it's like nine and a half. And some of these are pretty expensive. It just depends. This one looks like it is hand blown. It's thinner right here in the back. And I think they fuse it together in the back, but I'm not sure. But this one's neat. I mean, it's big on me. Now see, I wear an eight on this finger, but it is really big. So I'm thinking that's nine and a half. Isn't that neat? But I have to look this up because I'm not sure about a price. All right guys, I'm ending this in a minute because I've got to go to bed and I'm over an hour and I have a huge pile here still. So there is going to be a part three, but let me show you these. Okay, here's another one of those bracelets that has a heart and a rainbow. I'll put that in the box for a dollar. And then another unicorn, that one's cute. So I'll do that for a dollar. And I'll do a couple more and then I'll be done. Alright, then I have this. This is pretty, I think. So this one has some butterflies and they look like a bronze tone or brass. And these beads are registering as glass. That one's pretty. And it has some little yellow beads. They're like a golden yellow and they look kind of like foil that one's cute it's not super tight but it's not loose loose um i'll say three on that that's really cute. I mean, it doesn't look loose on me. See? I turn three on that. And then I have this one. This one has some orangey yellow beads and silver tone beads. And these are glass. This one's okay. It's nothing great. I don't know. These look cheap to me. I'm going to put that in the box, guys. Alright, then I have this. This is pretty. Although, there's a little scratch on the pearl. This one is not marked, and it's just a gold tone, but it is interesting. It looks like something from maybe 80s, possibly. I don't know, but it has that little scratch, which is a shame. Um. I'll say two on that. And then I have this necklace. This is cool. So this one is on a wire. 
I think that's interesting. This one has a glass bead. It's an amber color. And then these frosty leaves and red beads. And these are all glass. Isn't that cool? And it has this hook. It's kind of like ethereal, but in a gothic way, <laughs> if that makes sense. That one's pretty. That's really unusual, guys, and I don't know when it was made, but it has a hook. Um, I think that's very unusual. I'm going to say um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm going to say 14 on that one. I'll put it on eBay. People like this kind of stuff. It's just weird. All right, then I have this gold tone chain and it says something. Hold on. I hate that. I hate it because it will not clear up. Sometimes my camera cooperates and other times it don't. Or doesn't. Not don't. I don't know what that says. Gerion? I don't know. This has faux pearls. Oh, it doesn't look great. Faux pearls. And the chain has some um, darkening to it. This is going in the box. Wait a minute. this little gold turn bangle that's going in the box and I have this this is pretty this one has some glass beads and these gold tone beads and these clear beads and these seed beads that are glass and this is strange because it has three different clasps it has this one and a magnetic one and a lobster claw so why is that it's pretty cool. I just don't know why it would have so many clasps. I don't know, guys. I'll measure it. And it's about seven inches. Isn't that strange? Have you guys ever seen that? It's pretty. I just don't get it. It looks like it's plated. The gold pieces are plated, I'm thinking. Um, I think that's pretty. I'll say seven on that one. I'm going to look it up. If it's not anything good, I will do it for a lower price, but it looks pretty nice to me. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. And I will do part three when I get up. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll see you next time. Have a good day or night, whenever you're watching. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. If you would like to order, there's my email. Well, farm 4 at AOL.com. You do not need PayPal. I know I say this all the time, but you don't. And um, there was something else. Oh, just give me a timestamp for any items you like so I know what you're talking about. Okay? All right, guys. Have a good day or night. Like I said before. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.